Hello again. Previously, I demonstrated how to use Image Composite Editor to extract panoramas from short video clips. Today I'm going to show you my technique for exporting individual frames from videos and then selecting them for use within Image Composite Editor for creating panoramas from a series of still photos. So the first free tool we're going to look at is Avidimux and it's a video editor but it has this great capability of allowing you to save the individual frames from a selection of video. The next free tool I'm going to show you is Earfan View. It's a great image viewer and editor. Lots of plugins, very easy to use. It lends itself really well to this application because you can use the right and left arrow keys to go from one image to the next within a folder. So here I've loaded a video in a Vidimux and I'm using the A and B buttons to uh, create a selection within the video. Let's begin the selection and end the selection. And then I'm going to use the save image as and save selection as JPEG. A couple of things here you want a nice empty folder because you're going to generate thousands of files and then you've got to remember to put dot jpg at the end of the file name in order to move forward there we go So now I've got my folder full of a bunch of files and you can see that Avidimux numbered them all sequentially appending a incrementing number at the end of each file name. So now I'm going to use Earfan View to open the first one and then we're going to scroll through and make note of the numbers of the individual frames that we'd like to use for panoramas. So I've identified an interesting sequence of frames, these individual still photos, and I'm going to go ahead and import them into Image Composite Editor now. And through the modern miracle of computational photography applications, Image Composite Editor does its thing. Wow, well that's interesting. Let's see if we can make some sense out of this. In Image Composite Editor on the right hand side, you can manipulate the different projections to uh, determine the output shape of the stitched images. And then you can also kind of drag the image up and down, zoom in and out, and also rotate it. And what your objective is here is to get as much of the image into a uh, rectangular shape where you can crop it out. So let's play around here. So here the fisheye projection seems to yield the best result. Again, you're going to move the image up and down, side to side, and then if you go outside the grid you can rotate the image. So we're coming close to being able to get a good rectangular shape here. And then we'll do our crop.
The auto crop button selects the largest rectangular area from the stitch. And remember, you can go back and forth in Image Composite Editor, back to the projection, trying to get a better rectangle, and then back to the crop. And when you're ready, go ahead and save out your wonderful panorama. Let's go ahead and look at another stitch just to get our practice in. This one came out marvelous, a wonderful view of the entire Udall Park in Tucson, Arizona. Okay, so I'll have links for all of these free programs in the description of the video. Make sure to subscribe, share, and like. Thank you very much.